Hi there, Westminster. It's Heather Kirk Davidoff, and I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about a very important topic. That is our congregation's future. I want to do that from my favorite room in the church. Not my beautiful office, not our gorgeous sanctuary, not the stately Wells room, but here in the church's library. This is my favorite room in the church. It's my favorite because this is the room where I had the conversations with the pastoral nominating committee about whether God was calling us to be pastor and congregation together. Those were some great conversations, a little bit nerve wracking for me, but helpful as I tried to discern God's call in my life and whether that would include Westminster. I think often of those conversations and I think especially about uh, a conversation we had at the end of my second interview. At that interview, we had talked for probably already an hour and a half. The uh, committee had a lot of questions for me and at the end they turned and said, so do you have any questions for us? And I did, I had a very important question. It had been on my mind since reading the church's profile. And my question was this, do you believe that this congregation has a future? I think the team might've been a little bit startled at that question. I mean, maybe it was obvious. I mean, they wouldn't have been here engaged in the act of hiring a pastor if they thought the church was gonna close sometime soon. But I was thinking about some of the financial information that I had seen uh, from the church given to me as part of the search process. And in that information, I could see that the church for a decade, more, almost two decades, had been funding its ministry, not just with the offerings and tithes from the congregation, but with a significant draw from its endowment. A draw that far exceeded the sustainable uh, level of draw from an endowment. So the endowment had been getting smaller over the last 20 years and in fact at this point was really a fraction of what it once was. Now I wanted to know what the plan was. Now maybe you uh, are wondering why does a church need an endowment? I mean after all many churches survive just fine without endowments and in fact the congregation I was serving directly before this had uh, almost no investment money at all funded itself fully out of tithes and offerings. But this congregation in particular does need an endowment, and I bet you know why. It's because of this, our building. You could drive around the city of Albany and see abandoned churches in various neighborhoods across the city. Churches where there's holes in the roof and the pigeons are flying in that's not going to be the future of the Westminster Presbyterian Church or its building, in part because this church has an endowment. And that endowment is going to make sure that we can keep up a historic landmark building, which is a gift to our city, a gift to our neighborhood. But as we all know, the church is not the building. The church is not even the steeple. The church is the people. And it's because of the people here together at Westminster Presbyterian Church that I believe this church has a future. It's the people who are the future of the church. The endowment will take care of the building, but the people here are what will sustain and grow and develop the living ministry of this place. And we're gonna sustain it and grow it by our prayers, by our spirit, by our time, by our connections with each other and with our financial offerings, by our tithes and pledges. This year, when you give a pledge to the Westminster Presbyterian Church, as I have done, you vote yes on the future of the church. The endowment will preserve the future of the building, but it's our commitment, our commitment of time, talent, and treasure that makes sure that the church, its living ministry, 
extends into the future.